Yeah, I'm CEO of uh, Vivat. I came to Netherlands uh, last year. Vivat is two, three years old as a brand name. They created the holding and the older brand names are really like, like Switzerland and Real are really very old brand names in the uh, Netherlands. We're active in the Netherlands in the insurance market and we are uh, what they call the big five insurance companies in the Netherlands. We had to transform the company, which we did last year. So we reorganized the company and prepared the company for the uh, future. And innovation and data plays a key role in that. So that's my job, transform the company. And our ambition is really to become the most innovative insurance company in the Netherlands. We work with uh, many universities in the Netherlands where we sponsor PhD programs. Uh, so we sponsor those programs and we, the knowledge and experience we, we, we get from there, we bring back to our company. Uh, we work with a lot of startups. So I think we have now more than 200 uh, startups. People sometimes ask me how many are successful? And then I say five maybe. Some people say, oh, so we have one of the 95 failures. I say no. Uh, the benefit of those startups, they are never a failure for us because we learn from them. Uh, it's like free education for us. We help them with the startup. Of course, we have very strong brand names, but we, we, we mentor them. Uh, but at the same time, they teach us a lot. How do they work? How do they look at the client? It's always the customer first. If there's a new trend, it's uh, getting more into pay for use. Why would I take in travel insurance for the whole year if I travel three days? Why would I pay for car insurance if I don't use my car? Why would I pay for insurance if I don't use it in general? So the other trend I see is prevention. Prevention is becoming more important than actually the insurance. Uh, it's nice that you have insurance against uh, water leakage or fire, uh, so that's nice. But isn't it better to prevent the fire and to prevent the water leakage? So in that area, we also make now a lot of progress. I think security is probably the biggest challenge for all companies that work with data. Uh, Internet of Things. Then security becomes uh, uh, in, uh, not an issue, but a challenge how we deal with that. Uh, and you will see a lot of developments in the next few years in cyber security. At some point in time, we need the data to give you good advice, to give you a good proposal. So there needs to be uh, interaction be between you and us. So you as a client, we as an insurance company. So how do we transform this conservative, traditional insurance company into a very modern company? Uh, training the people that would like to be retrained. That's one, that's a long process. Recruiting people with the new mindset. Uh, that's what we especially do over here, but also in the back office. So you recruit new people that are familiar with this. I think very important is, is to work with external partners uh, that help us this transformation. I convinced the whole board that, that we need innovation. I convinced now the whole senior management that we need uh, innovation. It's, it's a must do. The platform is there, the foundation is there. If we need some winning concept or winning products, and people say, yeah, you see, it's paying off. Uh, that proof we still need. Uh, I think we better change, because if we don't change, we are out of business.